Hello everybody, it's uh, Hippa Dippin' here today, and today we're going to be doing um, some uh, Pokemon competitive analysis. Uh, today I decided to do Mega Guard for just because you guys might have uh, seen me use her in um, some of my battles, and uh, I gotta say, she's quite the, um, quite the Pokemon, very powerful, uh, very, um, it can go both ways, it can go defensive or offensive, and um, they both work great, they both really do. And, uh, it's just a great Pokemon all around. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a Gander at her. Uh, I have two sets here. One's defensive, which is this one, and then this one is offensive. So, um, the one I used in my battles was a defensive one, and, um, I changed some of the moves because I found some better ones. So let's go ahead and take a Gander at the offensive one first. The item is obviously going to be Gardevoir right, for both. And, well, let's take a look at the ability first. This Pokemon's normal moves become Fairy-type and do 1.3 times damage, so that's going to be pretty cool. And in the battles I was doing with her, I had her use um, Moonblast instead of Hyper Voice, because I forgot about that um, 1.3 times damage. That's Life Orb damage for free. And, um, so use Hyper Voice. Please do, it does much better than uh, Moonblast. Although, Moonblast is 5 more base power, but this gets 1.3, so... You know, you're getting a little bit more power for, uh... Practically a good move, too. The second move is going to be Psy Shock, and, uh, it's going to be do damage, uh, on, its, on the offensive... I cannot talk, please forgive me. This is going to do damage on the target to defense, not special defense, so that's going to work out pretty nice. This will allow you to pretty much become a uh, mixed attacker without having to redistribute your stats. So no Pokemon's going to be able to take both special hits and physical hits from you. So that's going to work out pretty nicely. And uh, it's also a pretty good move on its own. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Calm Mind is pretty standard for a Gardevoir set. It's boost your special attack and special defense. And that's going to raise you to the point where you're nigh unstoppable. So let's, uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good move right there. Uh, Energy Ball is pretty cool too. It allows you to go ahead and hit the um, some of the Pokemon you wouldn't normally be able to, like bulky water types or ground types or rock. Anything that Gardevoir couldn't normally damage heavily with Hyper Voice and Psy Shock, it can pretty much hit hard with uh, Energy Ball. And it just gives that extra coverage that you might not see on a team. Usually teams don't, uh, carry grass type moves, and Energy Ball is a pretty decent one, and so I figured go ahead and throw it on Gardevoir. Uh, for its stats, we have 165 base special attack, 135 base special defense, and 100 speed. And those are the most important stats in this Pokemon, as well as HP if you're going defensive. But um, special attack is going to be pretty amazing after you uh, unboost it too, after you uh, max it out. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. 429 is the result without the plus, and uh, I'd usually stick with that, just because that extra speed is appreciated, because without it, I mean, take a look, you're down in the 200s, although it's pretty close, but you're still in 200 range, and uh, so the plus does make a nice difference when you go ahead and add it on, and that's going to put you on the same range as um, max speed uh, Charizard, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, both of them, none of the Mega Evolved Charizards get a boost to their speed, so you're going to be basically on the same level as them, which is going to be pretty cool. Although you typically wouldn't be able to damage them too much anyway with the Gardevoir. Although if it was Mega Charizard Y, you could pretty much stay in there pretty safely with um, the defensive set. Now, maybe not with this one, but uh, still, it's going to be a pretty cool, um, pretty cool thing. And with 100 base speed, you're going to be outspeeding the majority of the tier. So that's going to be pretty nice. And for a defensive Pokemon, or an, um, a, a Mega Pokemon, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at the um, defensive one first. Same ability. Hyper Voice is pretty standard. Psy Shock, I do recommend having on there. Calm Mind also. And um, instead of Energy Ball, we can go ahead and throw Shadow Ball on there. Uh, I forgot to change that real quick. Here we go, Shadow Ball. And that's going to allow you, That's this is just another option. Uh, you don't have to have this one for the defensive set. You could also have it on the offensive one. Or you can mix and match or throw whatever you want. Like if you need more um, electric coverage, you can do like Hidden Power Electric maybe. I don't know. But um, it is pretty cool to have on there. And look at Gardevoir's moves. It has so many moves. It's absolutely crazy. But um, anyway, uh, Shadow Balls is a nice touch. Like if you're going up against a ghost type Pokemon. 
because ghost times are one of the very few times that are able to hit Gardevoir Mega for um, super effective damage. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, although if it is a Gengar, you could hit it with a um, Psy Shock, but I won't go into that. Um, Shadow Ball is just a pretty good move to have on there regardless. Let's go ahead and take a look at its stats. We have um, maxed out HP and maxed out special defense. Which is um, pretty pretty standard if you're running a uh, Mega Gardevoir. And uh, you're going to want to put a boost to that special defense. Get it up to the 400 range, which is going to be pretty great. And um, give the rest the HP and foreign speed if you want to. Or you could go ahead and throw the, uh, the other foreign special attack. Yeah, it's, it's only one point difference, so it's not like you're breaking anything, but, you know, it's, it's, it's something. Um, the special defense will allow you to live a lot of special hits. You can pretty much send this Gardevoir in on any uh, non-super effective special move, and you're going to be A-OK. -okay. Um, it just helps out, it really does, and, um, you know, you're not, you're not going to be on the same levels as, like, um, a, I don't know, a Gardevoir with a... Um, or a Glade with a uh, Assault Vest, or a Scrafty with a Assault Vest. You know, you're not going to be on that level, but it is going to allow you to hit uh, pretty much very hard, and if you can get a Calm Mind up, you're done. The opponent is done. The only thing that could benefit you more is that maybe a Speed Boost, but still, you're hitting like a tank, and uh, you're not going to have to worry about too much, too much stuff being able to stop you once you get a few Calm Minds up. So, that's why I love that move so much, and, uh, you know, I really neglect setup moves, I really do, and I'm going to try and include more of them on my teams, just because setup should be it should be standard, and I just haven't been doing that, so my apologies, but um, yeah, this is going to be Mega Gardevoir, and uh, two of the, my favorite sets, and um, yeah, if you guys like the video, please subscribe, I really appreciate it, and uh, leave a like, rating, comment, doesn't matter to me, you guys are great, and I really appreciate any kind of input you guys want to go ahead and throw on, I mean, <laughs> you guys are awesome. So um, yeah, I'll see you later. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Bye.